Hey guys, Zerka here and welcome back to my Mill Career Mode series. Uh, as you can see, we have moved ourselves up the table to 13th place, uh, which obviously is a lot better than where we was about two episodes ago when we was down in 20th and we looked like we may be struggling uh, in a relegation battle. But uh, luckily we managed to pull ourselves out with some form and we moved ourselves up the table. But obviously in the championship everything is usually very close and uh, you never really know. And we start off our game against Peterborough awfully within the like, second or third minute. Uh, they'd already scored 1-0 and uh, as I've always said, whoever scores the first goal it usually has the upper hand throughout the rest of the game until that the game has shifted. And uh, even though Chris Wood scored in the previous uh, game, he was back to his old ways of just creating lots of chances for himself, but never been able to put it in the back of the net and or even putting it on target half the time. And in the 31st minute, I made a bit of a mistake, made a bit of a rash challenge with uh, Rakon, and he got a red card, which is not obviously what I wanted, because down to 10 men when you're losing 1-0, kind of put myself in a very bad position, especially against a team where I definitely should be winning the game, because obviously Peter Brett have only just come up from League One this season. And uh, luckily, Leon Trotter managed to equalise for us on the 42nd minute of a nice goal from the edge of the area. And Leon Trotter doesn't really score much in this series, but then in real life, he tends to be quite a good goal scorer for me so hopefully he can get some more goals for us in the next coming games. But uh, Peterborough are back on the attack in the second half and uh, were causing a lot of problems for me. I guess that, that extra man proves a lot of difference. But Trotter managed to pick up a goal from nowhere, just touched the ball in the edge of the area and managed to put it across the goalie into the top corner. And you see here in the replay, it's actually probably a pretty good goal, probably one of the better goals I've scored in this career mode series so far. But uh, Peterborough straight back on the attack and uh, were causing me a lot of problems again in defence. And they managed to pull it back straight away pretty much. Uh, I nearly blocked it on the line there. I don't know who, I was, who was on the line, but I nearly blocked it on the line with them. But luckily I uh, didn't and uh, people were equalised and Yuri got his second goal of the game. I then pushed on to try and get a third goal but unluckily for me they managed to break on a counter attack. And uh, one of their players shot, I think it hit my defender and then bounced straight into the path of Yuri who then scored his hat trick. So then I did uh, what you usually do when I'm down is I make a triple, sub triple substitution in a hope that I can like completely switch up the game and cause a bit of a stir and hopefully get a goal to bring myself back into the game. But uh, I could really find the chance to do so. I made, created a lot of chances, but there wasn't really anything substantial enough to warrant a goal. And they really broke on the counter and got a fourth goal there, but luckily he hit it wide. He probably should have passed across goal, but he didn't. But we lost that game 3-2, which is a bit disappointing. But with 10 men, I guess I couldn't really expect much more than that. Uh, so there's Rakon's uh, confirmation of suspension. Uh, he's picked up a one-match ban, which isn't too bad. I guess it could be a lot worse. But Leon Trotter picked up an injury in that game and is out for three months, which is really bad because it's just one of our star players is gone but luckily obviously I have bitten caught on loan so that loan is now going to prove to be essential for me and uh, I've added Henderson uh, to the transfer list as he asked me to and you see that the media reported that I obviously did what he wanted me to do uh, Henderson is a great player but I haven't really featured him much in this series at all um, as you can see here, uh, Middlesbrough have new mega rich owners, so in January they'll probably be signing a lot of players. So they may, they're not actually in the top 12 at this current moment in time, but they may then pose a threat in the second half of the season if they sign the right players. Uh, but that's the first kind of takeover that I've seen so far in this series. There might be more. Hopefully it might be us one day, you never know. Um, we jump into our next game against Huddersfield. Now Huddersfield are a pretty strong squad. They have uh, Jermaine Bedford on loan from Leicester. They have a lot of uh, attacking options that could pose threats to us. And obviously on the back of that loss, I wasn't really feeling too confident again because I kind of have like these dips in form. I kind of win a couple of games and I lose a couple of games and then I win a couple of games and obviously so on and so forth. So I, hope I was, wasn't really expecting to win this one. I was hoping to hopefully to get a draw. Um, but in the first couple of minutes, first like half, I did create a lot of opportunities and it did look like... I uh, could be walking away with the three points in this game. And you can see from all these highlights here, I had a lot of opportunities. I just couldn't really find the back of the net, which seems to be the main issue with my games. I find I find that if I, if I was to show you the match details at the end of every game, you'd see that I have a lot of opportunities and a lot of shots on target, a lot of shots in general, but I just never seem to get uh, the way, find the way of scoring. I think the way of scoring in the career mode is still different to online. I still think I'm kind of struggling to try to find uh, the kind of type of play that works. But obviously I'll get around to that soon, we'll see. Uh, but back to the game, as you can see, I uh, just gave away a penalty. And uh, it's pretty much my fault. It was a bit of a rash challenge. It definitely was a penalty, uh, which is good for this series a bit different because most of the penalties I've given away haven't really been penalties. It's been really uh, poor decisions by the referee. Uh, but Jermaine Betford put that penalty away to make it 1-0. And uh, from this point onwards, I had to send 40 days straight attack at them in the hope that I could get an equaliser. And the goal he managed to keep him in there, that was a, a, something I definitely should have scored. Uh, but then this little mud muddle up uh, managed to cause them to make it 2-0. And at 85 minutes, I didn't really have much chance of getting back in the game. 
I mean, I, I went ultra attacking and I managed to get an, a little attack here, but I put it wide. Uh, but that's about it. As you can see here, uh, Rack on Suspension is over, so you can now be put back in the squad. And uh, if you enjoyed the episode, then please do leave a like. If you have any opinions or feedback, as always, then please do leave a comment. And uh, I shall see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.